A little history about this dog breed. To be honest, the origins of this breed are completely unknown, since they are not written. Some say they are a mixture of Doberman and Dachshund dogs or small greyhounds. And although the Germans insist that it is a race developed in Württemberg, the truth is that bone remains of this breed have been found on the shores of the Baltic Sea dating back to 3000 BC. Which makes it one of the oldest breeds in the world. Thus, nobody knows for sure where this breed comes from or how it is possible to have maintained the same color, temperament, qualities and value as the Doberman, its predecessor. The miniature pincher is a direct descendant of the medium pincher, which in turn descends from the well-known Doberman dog. Affectionate, cuddly and faithful guardian, he stands out for his great intelligence. Among the care that we need, we must be careful not to hurt him by accident, due to its small size it is very fragile. How is a miniature pincher or pincher? We must be careful not to confuse the pincher with the mini pincher, since there is a considerable difference in size. His character is identical, as are his physical characteristics and his needs to be happy, even the color of the but of the medium pincher is identical to that of the pincher mini or toy identical on the other hand to that of the big Doberman. It is a breed of small size and thin and athletic, with a thin and elongated snout. Its legs are very thin as is its tail, long and thin. The color of her hair is always black with fire, reddish, or completely brown tones. Usually his body is black, while chest and some parts of his face are red or fire brown. His hair is short and thin, very soft to the touch. Differences between the medium pincher and the miniature pincher. The medium pincher can measure up to 48 centimeters high at the cross, reaching a weight of up to 20 kilos. That is, a small dog but not excessively small. The miniature pincher, also known as the dwarf pincher or toy, can measure up to 30 centimeters in adulthood, much less than its ancestor, the middle pincher. The mini pincher can reach a weight of between 4 and 5 kilos, not more than 4 if it is a female. Here there is a very obvious difference between the medium and mini pincher. Pincher and pincher mini behavior. That's right, his behavior, temperament and even his hobbies are identical. The only thing that differs is in size and weight, so whatever your favorite version of pincher, the behavior is the same. The pincher has an affectionate and friendly character, loves pampering and is happy when he feels part of the family. It is a dog that can sometimes be strange, because it is very observant. We will even catch you watching us from the least expected place, it is a mystery. However it is a love, it makes itself loved thanks to its energy and desire to play, it is a cheerful dog. The dark side of the pincher mini or mediated is its protective aptitude, it is a very brave and impulsive race that does not look at the size of its rival. Thus, it can be so irresponsible as to face dogs 100 times larger than yours. Is the pincher good with children? Yes, it is certainly a dog who loves to play and spend great times entertaining in family. But we must be aware that children are children and can often hurt the dog unintentionally. In a medium pincher it can be a blow, but in a mini pincher it can mean breaking a bone or something worse. The pincher can play with children or vice versa, but always under adult supervision. Obviously we refer to dogs that have been well educated and socialized since puppies. Educating a pincher puppy is very simple, but if you misbehave the dog can become aggressive, be it of the breed that is, or have the size that is. How do you get the pincher with other dogs and, or animals? At general levels, the pincher is a territorial breed, which implies that it may be somewhat unpleasant with other dogs or animals. To avoid this kind of behavior, we must socialize our pincher as a puppy. We should never leave our pincher with smaller animals like rabbits, rodents or other pets. Because they will awaken their hunter instincts and try to attack them. So, if we socialize well as a puppy, it will probably get along great with other dog breeds and with other animals and humans. But we should never leave it with animals smaller than him. How to feed a pincher dog? We all want the best for our dog and that's why we try to choose a good brand of dog food or give it high quality products. The better your diet, the better your health status and the more years you will live. 
That is why we must choose between two types of dog food, prefabricated food or natural food. Both options have their benefits, the industrial one is more comfortable and the natural one is healthier. Industrial food for a pincher. Pinchers need to be fed with croquettes, prefabricated dog food, feed, balanced, a very small size, especially for mini dogs. Otherwise they could choke. We just have to follow the instructions of the brand of dog food that we are using to feed our medium-sized pincher or toy. We insist that they be specific for mini breeds. Natural food for a pincher. Some people feed their pincher raw or cooked meat, based on barf dog food which consists of feeding them with natural products. If you want to feed your dog in this way, try to pass all your food through the crusher beforehand until it is as fine as a mash. To prevent choking, especially the miniature pincher. How to care for a pincher. At the health level, these dogs are very strong, so strangely they will have health problems. However, it is highly recommended to give them all the vaccines recommended by the veterinary centers. Keeping up to date with the vaccine schedule, our medium or mini pincher will be protected against the main known diseases. In the case of the pincher mini, we must avoid vaccines such as the one recently incorporated into the veterinary market but nevertheless, not very efficient, a vaccine against canine leishmaniasis. Since these types of vaccines do not fit well in dogs smaller than 15 kilos. How much exercise does a pincher need? At the level of exercise we should never force our pincher to exercise, apply common sense and see that they are not dogs capable of maintaining the rhythm of a human. We could even kill them from exhaustion. It is advisable to walk with them several times a day, even let them run and play as they please, always being careful not to get hurt. Home care. At home we will have to prepare a comfortable, warm and clean bed where you can rest and sleep whenever you want. Always with a drinker of fresh and clean water at your disposal, for when you want to drink. We must keep in mind that the pincher has a life expectancy of about 18 years, which makes it one of the longest lived races that exist. How to care for a pincher puppy. Needless to say, due to its fragility and small size, with a lot, a lot of tact and care, since any mishandling could damage our puppy. Given its size and fragility we must find a warm place inside the house, where to put your bed. So you can rest and sleep without suffering cold at any time. Puppies only need to play, eat and sleep. Playing and sleeping already know how to do it, so you just have to worry about feeding them according to your veterinarian's instructions. So how to put the necessary vaccines and preventive parasites. Thank you very much for watching our videos, we hope you like it. Would you like to subscribe to our channel? We would appreciate it from the heart.